Today we've decided to do something that we've never done before and we were heading out musky fishing. We knew that our best bet in the area was to head over towards Lake St. Clair, so we headed over around the north side of the lake and we went to the North Channel DNR boat launch. This is where our boat put in and we headed off at 7.30 in the morning for a short little musky fishing trip. We didn't actually know exactly where we would be heading because the weather forecast was for severe thunderstorms, high winds, and even possible hail. So we bought our licenses for the Michigan license, the Canadian license, and we even bought a tribal license just to be safe so we were covered. When we got to the parking lot, the parking lot wasn't very full. It was a Saturday morning, 7.30 in the morning, and raining pretty good on us, so that drove away a whole lot of the boat traffic. That was good for us, as we didn't have to wait for our boat to be put in, we could just take right off. As we headed out into the water, it was quick to realize that there were several channels all around this area, and they made quite the maze. So we took off, had no idea where we were heading to, and just drove through the different channels and around the different areas until we finally found a spot that we thought might be good for musky fishing, and if nothing else, we thought maybe we'd catch some northern pike or even some bass, but the main target here was musky. It was pretty neat that we were getting so close to some big shipping vessels out here on the lake, and just behind this one, there were two more just farther off in the distance. This was pretty active water, and it was exciting to just be out here, whether we caught fish or not. We were getting pretty lucky as the day so far hadn't had any steady downpours, just some light rains and some distant thunder as we were throwing rubbers up towards the shoreline and the weed beds. And it wasn't long before I got one. You said don't let a head up come above water either, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. no, no. Don't let go, just hold on tight. You never want to drop these guys. Oh, Jared's got it. You don't have to worry about it. Oh, no, I, I got to get my pictures. Oh. <laughs> you guys can do it. So, yeah, if you, you okay, want to revive just her, put her you back in. It. Yep, so you just want to let her in real gently. Now, these are actually going to have to revive, not like that pipe. Yep. So, the trick though, is these waves. It's going to be. So, ideally, you're going to try to hold them. You want to hold them back. This is the second muskie of the day and the third fish total with the other being that little northern pike. These muskie put up a good fight at first but they wear out quick. I was super surprised by that. And they take quite a while to revive before you can set them free again so we made extra sure that these fish were ready to be let go so they had the better chance of surviving after release. At the end of the day, we did wind up having some challenges with the guide service that we used, but we were able to land two musky and one northern pike, so the whole day wasn't a loss. We'll definitely be going out after some musky again, whether we do it on our own or with a different guide service, and we definitely had a great time fighting these fish and just being able to say we went fishing at a new location.